Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus, where I'm about to murder me, one of them Colossus. Because, uh, I gotta save my girlfriend slash maybe family member. No one knows. The point is, you know, it's my excuse, because, you know, my heinous actions that could be justified, but probably aren't. I mean, there's a lot of guilt riding on me and my own self-esteem. But I digress, because, you know, that's not the point. I'm just a commentator and gamer and whatever, you know, the person playing the game, the thing that you're seeing right now. On the other hand, I gotta be honest, number 12 here, I didn't remember it in the slightest. Because, you know, you got so many of these giant things, you figure you'd remember all of them, but a couple elude me. Also, there's a pathway over there. Uh, there's a little bit of grass you can grab onto that side. Uh, there's nothing over there. Or at least not to my knowledge. I mean, I checked it, I looked. You figure maybe a lizard just resides over there, but no. It's just a cliff where you can just, like, take in a lot of the scenery and, you know, there's, it's, 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 like, leading into nothing. But, you know, you can look at it. It looks nice. A lot of this game looks really nice, even to today. I mean, sure, some of the things look very wonky. Some of the things are kind of dated, but at the same time, I mean, the scenery, I find a lot of the scenery in the background really holds up. You know, it's it's very visually enjoyable. So there, there's a lot of things you can just kind of take in, be like, oh, man, this is pretty. And you can believe if uh, something like this existed, a lot of people would be going to it because, I mean, the, it it's a beautiful place in its natural state, Un tamed really by man i mean sure there's ruins and stuff like that but it all seems abandoned so you know everyone everyone would be just like admiring it if it existed but i digress you know that's not the point the point is i'm swimming to the arena the area the place where you go challenge number 12 I, because i mean really when it comes to it that, that's what we got going on i don't remember this guy just take a look Oh man, I, I gotta say, for a number for a number twelve, he is probably one of the most visually distinct of the Colossus. Also, his horns they fire laser projectiles, some lightning projectiles, because I mean that's what they were saying. Also, I find you can swim under his armpit. Might not look like you can, but you you totally can. You might have to glitch out the camera a little bit. Uh, also, we got a view of his inside. They're pretty hollow, but I digress. You know, that's not the real importance here. The importance is I just gotta swim to his back. Pretty easy to do. Now, this boss is kinda deceptive, cause you see, you're like, I can climb it, this is where I'd find a weak point, right? And you figure you go to his little head, forehead area, and there you go. But, here's the thing. It's all deceptive. It's all fake. It's all false. It's a facade. It's an upfront. You're gonna get there and you're gonna be like, what do I do? Where is it? Am I missing something? Did I not do something? And actually, no, no you didn't. Fortunately, this thing also kind of controls a little bit like, what is it, Dorsey? The what, Loch Ness Monster from Super Mario, where you have to like go onto his forehead and control like where it goes. Because you see, it has a tooth crown here and you can bang on it and it'll turn and it'll move exactly where you need it to go. And with that, you get onto the platform. And when you get onto the platform, well, all, all hell breaks loose, sort of. By hell, I mean salvation. And by salvation, I mean you can expose it for what it really is, the filthy underside of this colossus, the falsehood. See, it seems like you can't do anything, and it tricks you into thinking you can't do anything, and it doesn't really look like it has eyes, because its mask looks brilliant 
awesome and it, it's kind of distinct in that way and it's kind of awesome in that way but truth be told all you're trying to do is just this now you can fuck this up i've done it before it's happened it's not fun when you do it but on the other hand when you do this you expose this little heart tummy thing it's chest you go you do it it has this one oddity that kind of gives me a flashback all the way to like uh secret of evermore and you piss it off whenever you stab it it's it's not a very nice guy it also looks extremely intimidating when you don't really see its eyes or they're kind of hidden the point is this guy really does not like you he shoots shit at you just lobs it from his horns but no matter you know hey I can deal with it. I can deal with it a lot. I can swim under its armpit and then get an internal view of its insides. You know what it's really all about, which is nothing. It's a hollow reflect. I'm inside it. <laughs> I, how did this happen? How? Why? <laughs> this is more than I wanted to deal with today. I was thinking, hey man. These Colossus, what is the internal truth to it? You know, I'm feeling a lot of guilt. My faith is restored. There's nothing to it. It's all a falsehood and lies, and it's a facade number. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Point is, I, I, I feel alright. I feel more justified in what I'm doing. Because, you know, sometimes they say beauty is skin deep. And, and you know it's all about the personality and like what's inside don't judge a book by its cover but it turns out nothing's inside it's all a falsehood and a lie and I mean this guy he's just he's just a phone he's just a fake he's just a hollow shell why should I care why should I sure he's got this cool tooth crown and he doesn't look like he has eyes because he's got it looks like one of those medieval helmets you know the kind that knights wore and they were epic and let's be honest, if that was still a thing today, I mean, maybe I would try to do the thing. But all that said, control his head. Use the tooth crown. Let's Mario, let's Mario 64 this. I don't know a better way to phrase it other than we're just controlling Nessie over here. I'm gonna call him Nessie based on everything. Or maybe it was Dorsey. I don't remember. My mind's not working as nearly as it could, mainly the memory parts, but the point is, I did the thing. All I gotta do is make him do this, make him jump up. He really wants a good look at me. Although, again, where are his eyes? I don't know. Are those lightning things his eyes? Because that's weird, that's like slug level eyes right there. Point is, I, I exposed him. I'm glitching out a little bit, but no one, no one cares. No, one, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm doing the thing. I got it. I'm, I win. <laughs> Goodbye, phony. I'm swimming to the waterfall to commit seppuku, so I don't feel guilt about what I did. I can do it. I can make it. Don't worry, guys. It's only an upfront. You see. Oh no, the guilt. That wasn't an upfront. I was gonna say it's only an upfront because I can't reach the falls. But then the guilt struck me in the heart. Now it's just it hurts. It was hollow on the out. It was hollow on the inside, but it turns out it still acts very realistic on the outside. So I don't know. Gellum's not going to sleep well tonight, but I have an erratic sleeping schedule, so I guess it doesn't matter to begin with. Point is, I did 12. Uh, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to hold up the, I can't even speak, I'm, I'm writhing some lament right now.
This guy, I remember this guy, even from my old playthrough. Uh, but I, I digress, you know. Number 13, not, not important. Point is, we got a cutscene, because uh, every four Colossus you be, every quarter of the way you get a cutscene. So as you can tell, you know, that's the last cutscene we're going to get until, you know, we we actually beat the Colossus. Like the, the 16th Colossus, the last Colossus. You know, we got the quarter cutscene, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh... I digress, you know, not important. What's important is we're actually going to be powering up significantly in this part. Because, uh, yeah, I know, we, we've we uh, done a lot. A lot of the video has kind of, like, concluded itself. We defeated something. It hurts. The lament is still there. But I got a cutscene to analy uh, analyze and distract myself so let's get to it um there was a white horse there was a group of like people they're like only a little ways to go something happened maybe it has to do with us because i mean I, I figure that's what's going on so i mean people are on their way to this area and one of them has a very distinct looking horse that doesn't look like ours grad ours is very affectionately referred to as like Adah or whatever. It's our traveling companion. You know, we're attached to this thing. I love it. This horse is my BFF. Also, uh, I forgot something. I, I remember something. I forgot something. Because you see, it turns out you can go to this little clip over here. And you want to because there's a lizard just chilling over here. Just, just running around. You do it, you, you go, you cut it, you grab it still, and you have a tree. This tree has some fruit, but here's the problem with the fruit. You see, there's a cliff, and the fruit overhangs over the cliff with the branch. So the point is, even though you shoot the fruit, how are you going to get it? How are you going to get it without committing suicide? I don't know. It baffles me. I'm not getting that. You want me to get a game over? You want me to end the part? Game over. Goodbye. Part over. No. No, I'm kidding. It's not happening. All right. Point is, I'm a going. I'm continuing onward. Uh, also, I I'm, I'm not going to do it yet, but... If you want to know a little secret that I have to, I have to point out, you'll see. Um, we're we're gonna begin some exploration down in this part because, quite frankly, the game kind of goes into an area we haven't really explored a bit. And as you might have guessed, you know, it that's what I want to do. We all want to explore. We all want to get the stats up. In fact, they're gonna get so far up that our health is gonna max out. Believe it or not, this bar, this health bar, it's gonna be all the way that it can get to. Even if there's extra fruit laying about, we, it will not do anything to our health bar. At least that's why I found out. So, our real objective is actually that weird little amalgamation of stone pillars right there. That is where you go and fight the next Colossus. It's to our right, as you can see. But I'm not gonna do that, cause right now, I'm a doing hyper exploration. Oh yes, viewers. You see, I gotta get the things going. I gotta get the stuff a happening. Uh, there's a safe shrine all right here. I guess I don't really know. Point is, everything's in fast forward. Everything's happening. Everything's going so amazingly. Uh, this is also the last hyper exploration part. That's right. I won't have to do so much exploring after this, which is very fortunate if you ask me. But the point is, ya didn't, and ya got a lot of things going. I know, I'm clipping things all over the place because it's gotta happen, but at the same time, you should know, the safe shrine that I was at is the one that I'll always go back to, and that's why there's a map that helps just kind of summarize everything from point A to point B, and you go, and you explore, and you extend everything, and everyone's good, everyone's happy, it's all going on, oh man. Point is, I've done the things. I've explored, I've gotten some lizard tails, I got me some fruit. Oh, the fruit. There's no point in, like, hiding it anymore. Our health bar is extended the best it will ever be. I mean, sure, right now it's it's getting into the process, but the point is, it's all adding up. I think I've had enough. Our guy will not accept any more fruit. I mean, sure, I'll eat it, but it won't do anything to him because, like, he's already gotten all that he needs to from all the fruit 
and all the benefits that you can get from all the different colored fruits. By the way, have I have I mentioned what kind of fruit are we eating here? What kind of fruit does all this have? The properties of it increase your health. Does fruit work like that in the real world? I mean, sure. I guess in Pokemon you have Snorlax and he's a big old dude and he has a lot of health and he like sits on people and rolls over on them and it does a lot of damage, but does that how it does in real life? I mean, I don't know. I figured the fittest will survive because that's like nature's law and rule and all that good stuff. But point is, you know, I'm not fat in this game. You know, like our wanderer dude here, he's very fit. You know, look at him. He's able to like shoot a bow on his horse he's able to hold a lot to sword while riding the horse he's able to actually do things one-handed he's able to climb while he's wielding like his weapon of choice he's able to do a lot of things and not have to worry about it it doesn't hinder the game whatsoever and i like that kind of stuff but the point is how does it happen how does it work will we ever get an answer i say we won't because that's not how the gameplay and the immersion work. I mean, like, uh, let's be honest. I'm the wanderer. This is my immersion. I'm exploring. Sure, they say this is a forbidden land. It's accursed or something like that. There was an intro movie kind of saying something along those lines. But my point is, that's not, that's not what we got going on. My point is, we got the things and the stuff. And it's all happening right now. And I got my silly horse. He's a good horse. He makes things happen. He makes the future possible. He is my bestest friend. He's the only friend I have. Sure, there's a backstory here, but will we ever get the answers? I say we won't. I don't have a, any idea what the backstory is here. I mean, sure, maybe you can make up your own story. Maybe there's a fanfic to go along with it, sexual or non-sexual. I hate to think what happens in the sexual version because it probably involves necrophilia but hey i'm not here to judge and i'm not here to portray some sort of weird fanfic when it comes to shadow of the colossus because i mean that's not my job that's not my duty my duty is to just get the exploration done and that's what i do and that's what i did because you know I'm, I'm gonna end it off here because Let's be honest, I can keep going on and on, but really, what's the benefit of me doing all this other than just making exploration bearable? So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you like so much of my hyper exploration brilliance, or at least I hope I can call it brilliance. I mean, I guess that's for you to judge. I guess that's for you to decide. This has been the last one because, you know, I don't need to do any of the other stuff. It's all done. It's all been here. It's all in the past. When I go to the next part, we're going to be all set prepared for whatever comes our way. And it's going to be fantastic. Let's be honest. All of you are happy and all of you are excited because, you know, I'll be almost the best I can be. Sure, there's a couple lizard tails that we can get, but really there's not much else for me to say other than it's all done. It's all taken care of. I'm good. And you know what? For all sakes of gameplay, I guess we all are. So, next time... Number 13. Will it be happy? Will it be exciting? Will I fail a lot? Who knows? But chances are yes. Yes to the last question. There will be failure. Mm -hmm.